my dear in this tutorial i'm going to share with you sensible heating and sensible cooling okay so basically what i'm going to use here to make you understand these two concept one is sensible i mean a psychometric chart so for sensible heating i'm going to use psychometric chart psychometric chart because at, as per my knowledge till now i have studied a lot about thermodynamics rac as well as as a hmt heater mass transfer according to me and uh, to understand sensible heating properly you need to know two things one is psychometric chart and one is basic definition so what is sensible heating basically what we can sense that is known as sensible heating means if there will be change in change in temperature that is known as sensible heating if there is a temperature of a system is 10 degree to a 10 degree and we are increasing to 20 degree that means we can sense that there is changing in temperature in the system that's why and we can sense that that's why it's known as sensible heating so it is the basic definition now if we will move towards psychometric chart then we need to know i need to draw a little bit about a diagram that is most important and this is d i mean dbt drywall temperature and this is specific humidity okay so here it blowing okay so specific humidity so here what we have we have in case of sensible heating this is one and this condition i mean taking this point from point one to two if there is changing i mean their driver temperature is increasing and there is specific or uh, specific humidity or humidity ratio is constant for that case we call it sensible heating now if i'll move to another uh, concept that is sensible cooling because you also need to understand that concept sensible cooling sorry for that okay so sensible cooling again sensible cooling means we are decreasing temperature we get decreasing temperature of a system for that I'm, I'm just going to draw a temperature i mean trying to draw a psychometric chart that is most important to make you understand about it specific humidity and dvt so driver temperature is increasing in the uh, in this side all right so what will happen now i point one and point two in this case Point 0.1 would be here, I mean initial condition will be here and the final condition will be here. Now in this case also we are having specific humidity as constant. So this is all about uh, sensible heating and sensible cooling. So I hope you understood this because one of the most effective way to understand sensible heating and sensible cooling is this one, psychometric chart. Alright, so thanks for watching. Hope to see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.